short sight. The meaning of short sight is what? We have here the eyeball and we have a light that comes out from the candle, from source of light, from anybody. So here we have the images that found here or the image that found inside eye that received by the retina in the eye like this. This is retina and we have the image that found before retina. So here we have this image that found or that formed before retina or in the front of retina. It means what? It means we cannot see the far objects. Why? Because here the eyeball and the retina or the image that found in the front of retina after collection by the islands. The second one, we have what? We have long sight. What's meant by long sight? Long sight at uh, this picture, we have here the eyeball and we have the same candle and the eye lens then in the blue color that collect the light rays and receive it on the retina. Retina, it is a part of eye that receive any image that we can see and we have the image here that found the after retina that we see here so the image that found after retina or behind retina so it is what it is a case of long sight what's meant by this this mean what we have we have a person that can not see or read anything near from him why because the eyeball it has defects after that short sight it's the image formed in the front of retina or before retina like we see here in this picture and we have the person suffered from the shortness of eye sphere and this shortness that make the image formed in the front of retina or before retina so this person cannot see anything far from it very clear but it's what we can see the images or the bodies and images if anyone or anything far from us it is not clear from us so it has this person has what has short sight and we have another thing it's treated by concave lens we use the concave lens it is not one lens but it's two lenses in the form of glasses so here this treated by concave lens to make what to make the image it's very very small or smaller than the body after that we have long sight the meaning of long sight here after the image that formed after the retina so the image formed behind the retina or after retina both are right so here we have this one this is the case of long sight and after that the person is suffered from shortness of eyeball diameter the shortness it means what it's compressed compressed horizontally to make what to make the compressing here this image that form it after retina and it cannot be cannot be received on the retina in a right way so he cannot read anything near from him but it makes this reading is very far from him why to because what because the long side it's the case to make him see anything near it is not clear and we have treatment of this case this case it's treated by what by a convex lens convex lens it is the reading glasses that we have in what in pharmacies but here we have what we have the convex lens that make treatment of this case of long sight now we have a video to see how does you see anything around you in your environment? Let's go to see this video. Sight, a precious gift we can't take for granted. Our eyes are windows to the wonders of the world. All we know and love, experience and discover, ponder and cherish. Let's peer into the workings of the eye, a unique and self-sustaining system. The reflected light of the world enters through the crystal transparency of the cornea. Aqueous humor, lens, and vitreous humor to project onto the photoreceptors of the retina, whose impulses converge on the optic nerve and then to the brain. 
to be transfigured into imagery and imbued with meaning. Continual adjustments to the pupil and lens regulate the entry and focusing of light. In today's world, the eye surface is constantly challenged to protect itself and adjust to changing conditions. Every blink helps our eye's natural defense system, the tear film, retain moisture and maintain visual acuity. Tears contain potent natural disinfectants to keep bacteria at bay. And the tear system washes away impurities to maintain eye health. The miraculous biology of our eyes inspires us to develop ways we can protect and maintain comfort for these remarkable structures. For all the wonders our eyes provide throughout our lives, we owe them our attention and ongoing care. Let's go to see the first one. We have right scientific term. Right scientific term, I need one word for this information or one word for this sentence. Let's go to see the first one. A mirror that reflects light rays, that reflecting light surface is the internal surface of the sphere. Again, a mirror that reflecting surface or that has reflecting surface is the internal surface. Internal surface, it means what? Yes, very good. We have what? We have concave mirror. Excellent. After that, we have another sentence. A mirror which converges light ray. Converges light ray, it means collect light rays. So the mirror that collects light rays, it's called concave mirror. Excellent. Another sentence in right scientific term, the straight line that passes through the curvature center or center of curvature of the two faces of the lens. It's what? It's the principal axis. We have the keyword here, the straight line that passes through the curvature center of the faces of the two lenses that connect between them. Another sentence, the mean point or the central point of the mirrors that reflecting surface means what? It means pool of mirror, right? And we have another point that found in the lenses that we talk about it in last session. We have what? We have the Center, optical center. After that, a mirror, the reflecting surface, is the internal surface of a sphere. We have what? We have concave mirror. Excellent. Another one. We have the transparent medium that refracts light rays and diverge it. Again, we have a transparent medium that refracts light ray and diverge it. It makes diversion of it. It's what? It's lens. Which type of lens here? We have what? We have concave lens. Another type of questions we have what? We have to choose the correct answer. First sentence we have. Concentrate very well before any choice. Number one we have the person that stand in the front of the plane mirror and moves 20 centimeter in the direction of the mirror or towards the mirror. So the image will approach what? Approach 10 centimeter or 20 centimeter or 30 centimeter or 40 centimeter. So here we have what? We have the approaching happened by the body or by the person towards the mirror 20 centimeter. So here the image will approach what? Approach in the plane mirror. So here we have this is what? This is 20 centimeter. The answer is 20 centimeter. Very good. After that, we have if the radius of the spherical mirror is 40 cm, so the focal length will equal what? We have here the radius of the spherical mirror is 40 cm, or we have if the radius of lens is 40 cm, so the focal length will be equal what? Equal 20 cm. Excellent. Why? Because we have the focal length, it's half radius. After that, the parallel rays that are incident on the plane mirror are reflected back as, as what? Diverging light ray or converging light ray or parallel light ray or refracted light ray. Again, we have the parallel rays that are incident on the plane mirror 
that are reflecting back as what as parallel light rays excellent why because we have the plane mirror it is plane surface so any type of parallel light rays that refract or reflect again it's what it's parallel again after that the light rays which fall perpendicular to the plane mirror reflects to on itself because its incidence angle equal what I have it's remember that very well the light ray which falls perpendicular on the plane mirror that make right angle on the plane mirror reflects on itself because its instance angle equal what equal zero or 60 or 90 or 180 so here we have zero right so here the angle of light ray that pass or that move down or fall down on the plane mirror that perpendicular has what it has the incident angle equal what equal zero zero degrees another sentence if you stand in the front of the plane mirror and the distance is 100 centimeter from it so the distance between you and the image equal what the real body of your body that's 100 centimeter in the front of the plane mirror so the distance between you and your image equal what 50 centimeter or 100 centimeter or 150 centimeter or 200 centimeter yes very very good we have 200 centimeter why because the distance between the body and the mirror equal the distance between image and the mirror another sentence the image of an object placed in the front of the plane mirror is is real and enlarged or virtual and equal to the object or virtual and dimensioned or real and equal the object which one is right we have here the image of the object placed in the plane mirror plane mirror they are equal yes very good but it is real or virtual so here the answer is virtual and equal the object or equal the body after that We have another type of questions that called show by drawing. Here we have the show by drawing. It means you have the ruler, you have the pencil, you have your rubber and make some drawing like the question that we will see and we will talk about it now. Let's go to see the first one. The image that formed by a concave lens. I need the image by concave lens. So here we have the concave lens like this and we have the principal axis. So after that we have what we have the images here. So we have the body that after what after F before F before M and after M any distance in the, con in the concave lens. After that, we have the light ray that comes out from the body in red line. AB is the body. And we have this light ray that parallel to the principal axis that passes what? That passes away from what? From this lens. Why? Because it diverges light ray. And the, and the second one, we have what? We have A that move passing what? Passing the optical center of the lens without any refraction. So here we have the extension of this, the first one that make intersected point with the second light ray that makes what? That makes an, an image like this. It's what? It is A small, B small. And this one, it's virtual, erect and dimensioned. And the central line in the lens that found here to make what? To make your drawing is very right. After that, we have the image formed. I need show by drawing. Remember that show by drawing. The image formed by a convex lens if the body object exists in the center of curvature. We have here, we have this lens that's called what? That's called convex lens. And here we have the principal axis. And the second one we have what? We have the body that found here on M and this one, we have what? We have the light ray that pass parallel to the principal axis and passing on the focus. 
and the second one or second light ray that passing here to make what to make intersected point between them so here we have the image that found in a b that found in what in the m or the other other center of curvature so here we have what we have so here we have this shape that's form what that's formed the image by by convex lens in the case of the body that found on m or the center of curvature the image here it's equal inverted and real equal what equal the body but it is inverted and real after that we have give reason for give reason for it means i need the explanation of this information so give reason for it's very important question it has high marks for this one you can collect the marks in this question it is not difficult it is very very easy one let's go to see the first one when you look at the mirror you see your image in an opposite form why because what because the mirror is a reflecting surface of light again the mirror is a reflecting surface of light and the plane mirror or any type of mirror it is a reflecting surface of light that makes what that makes your image in what in reversed position reversed position it means what it means the left hand is right hand in the mirror and the right hand of your body is left hand inside the mirror after that another sentence the perpendicular incident light ray on the plane mirror reflects on itself again perpendicular incident light ray on the plane mirror that reflects on itself why that pass or that reflect in itself on itself because what because reflecting angle equal the incident angle equal zero why because the angle here between the normal line and incident light ray equal zero because the light ray that pass or fall down on the normal line that passing the normal line or on the normal line in the same direction in the same case so here we have because what because the reflecting angle equal the incident angle equal zero after that we have another sentence the image that formed by a plane mirror is virtual again the image that formed by plane mirror is virtual so here we have what because the image by the plane mirror can't be re received on a screen we have here this question that's asked about this this word virtual so the meaning of virtual it's received on a screen no it cannot re be received on the screen so the image here that found in the plane mirror or any type of mirror except the concave mirror we have what we have the plane mirror or convex mirror that they the image they form image as what as the virtual image why because the image by a plane mirror or convex mirror that can't be received on a screen it's found inside what inside the mirror but we cannot receive it behind mirror after that another one in the give reason the image formed by convex mirror can't be received on a screen it's the opposite of the other or the last the last sentence so here the image formed by the convex mirror can't be received on a screen because it's a virtual image because what because it is virtual image it this sentence ask about can't be received on a screen why because it is a virtual image that formed by what that formed by con convex mirror or or formed by plane mirror another sentence the convex lens is used in burning paper within the sun rays why we use the convex lens to burn a paper with the sun rays or we use it in what in some cases like what like the burning or heating anything why because the convex lens is a converging lens of light that collect light rays in one point called focus and concentrated very very high temperature again we have the convex lens it's converging light ray or converging piece or converging lens 
Okay, so here we have the converging lens of light ray in the point called focus that collect light ray in one point called focus and it concentrate the heat energy after this collection collect the heat energy and collect light rays and collect every of this anything of these rays in one point called focus so it's very very concentrated and very will be very hot to burn a piece of paper or to heat anybody now we have something is important for us for your studying and your information some symbols of lenses and in the last session we have some symbols of mirrors and to know the some concepts about mirrors here we have some symbols and concepts of lenses like what if i have a lens like this this is a convex lens or if i have a concave lens and we have this straight line that called what that called principal axis again we have this straight line that pass in the middle in the midpoint of this piece that called the principal axis and it is a straight line the second thing we have we have what we have an optical center it's very 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 important point in the lens Op uh, about the convex lens or concave lens optical center and its symbol is p p is the optical center and we have another thing here we have the focus focus we have f f it means what it means focus and how many focus here we have we have two focuses here or two foci means what it is english in english we have two foci what's meant by two foci two focuses that means what that means the lens it has two foci why because it has two surfaces two surfaces here it means what it means one another in the left side and we have another one in right side so here we have principal axis again the straight line that pass in the optical center and we have the optical center here that found in p the symbol of optical center is p and this point is is found in the midpoint of what it is the midpoint of the convex lens or concave lens after that we have m what's meant by m center of curvature how many centers of curvature we have two one in the left side and one in the right side why because the lens it has two surfaces very good student so here we have what we have any lens that has two foci and they have what they